Right, hello and welcome to this week's angling blog. You join me on the banks of the river. It's a cold Sunday morning and we're in search of chub. Um, just a bit of fun this morning, a few hours on the bank. Got a couple of pints of maggots with me and some hemp. And just after one or two chub. Um, if more come along then the session might be a bit longer. Um, set up for the day is my 14 foot drilling Aculite um, Plus. Um, coupled that with a 4000 um, Pisky Fun on a reel and I've got a tiny, tiny size 18 hook, a bulk shot at number 8 and I've got a 10 number 4 dome top float um, as the stick float. Just out for a few bites, fingers crossed there's one or two chubs to be caught. The river's in good condition, it's got a good clarity in the margins but as you'll see in the next couple of shots it's got that dark tea colour to it in the main flow and yeah, fingers crossed we get a few bites let's just have a look at the bait tray that we'll be using today Right, so that's the bait waiter for today um, a couple of pints of maggots a couple of pints of um, Cheshire particle hemp and a few tears in, in that as well added in um, on this side of the tray here, just me weights, number fours, number eights, and I say I've got my box behind me with a bit of lining and um, some hooks, size 18 hooks. And that is just basically what you need for the day stick float fishing. Having a look at the whole setup, as it's set up, I have um, my landing net on the floor, obviously. The Rod rest just to let you know, put the rod on when you're firing your maggots in. A bait waiter and a net. And it's as simple as it gets. And I say it's the most basic type of fishing you can do. So as you can see there, clarity in the margins. But as you go out, it's got that dark look to it. And fingers crossed we'll uh, encounter a chub today certainly got the conditions for it let's have a look at the swim and then we'll get about making that first cast so the swim today let's say same swim as the last video just fast down the middle and today I think with the margins being a bit clearer I think our bites will be coming in that bit there more than this bit here where we got a few last time so yeah and that area there is where I'll be targeting the bites. And if we look anything in that gap there, we're going to be in trouble. But yeah, fingers crossed we get one or two on the bank. Right, so just into the first one of the day. It's taking a while to come. It's a lovely bend in the acolyte, and that's why I use it. Just out for a bit of fun today. It's taking a while to come, and the fish aren't in the weren't in the same areas as the last session we were on here. And it's taken probably about an hour and a half to get the first one, but. I say, that's where we come. The wheel's spinning. And on a light rod like this, you've just got to take your time. And I say, just ticking over. Well, let's see if we can get this one in. He's holding out in the flow. And we'll see if we can get him in. There it is, the first one of the day. 
a nice bronze Chevin on a cold Sunday morning are more than welcome. So lovely colours. And it's just a short morning session today to see if we can get a few bites on the acolyte. A bit of fun. And that is the one thing I love most about river fishing. Sometimes you're in the middle of a town like, but listen to that. All you can hear is the running water and quiet. And that's why I love river fishing. We live in a world that's full of noise, but for at least a few hours every weekend, they try and get me a little piece of this. Just that noise of the water running in the background. Absolute bliss. Really is a nice one to use for stick float fishing. This is almost certainly a chub. Just holding in the flow. And yeah. Just take your time with it. So you don't want to put too much pressure on it. It's not the strongest rod in the world. And I am only on a 2 1 hook length. So just take your time and let the rod and the reel play the fish. And say it's just ticking over nicely. It's just holding there in the flow. Just feel a nice one. So it's just come up there now, just seen the, the turn for the first time in the flow. What are you waiting for them white lips to come up to let you know that it's nearly ready? Right, and as you can see there. You don't need big hooks, a tiny, tiny size 18 hook. And as I say, it's a lovely chub that. Let's get him unhooked and have a look at him. Right, and there we go. A lovely chub on a Sunday morning. Three and a half pound, I think it was, on the scales. And yeah, put up a great fight. And the second chub of the day. And yeah what it's all about i pity the season's going to be coming to an end soon but as i say february for me is pike and chub and yeah sunday mornings in february don't come much better than a lovely chevy like that let's get it back in the keep that and see if we can get another one Right, so our Baz is with us today. He's just ducked into his first chub. And he's just holding in the flow. He just takes his time and it'll come into the slack under our feet and we can hook it, um, we can net it for him. But yeah, good in it, mate. Mm. And so the chub's just holding out there in the flow. Just tie it out. And then when it comes underneath our feet, we'll uh, get it in the net and hopefully we'll get it in for him. So let's see if we can get it in. Right, there's our Baz with his first ever chub. Um, two pound, I think it was on the nose, I think. Good fight, eh, mate? Yeah, yeah good fun. There's a good fight in the flow and he did dead good. 
just playing the fish out and it's a lovely first chub lovely brassy flanks and plenty of character and yeah well done mate it's a lovely chub right so just into I think it's chub number four just after our Baz is one and this has come right on the snag and I say just there uh, holding in the flow like all the others and I say a lovely bend in the rod it's just coming upstream and I say once you know the swim once you know the swim and you know there's no snags under your feet once you get them under your feet where the float is now then you know it's okay, you can just loosen the drag off a bit. Right, there's that chub. Um, got plenty of character for this one. You'd recognise it again, a mark on its back. And the same mark on its on the back of its tail. Um, certainly got a, a story to tell, hasn't it? This one. Um, like we were saying earlier to our Baz, it's a uh, chub fishing. It can be a lot of hard work at the start sometimes. Um, a good hour and a half, two hours before we even got a bite, and um, putting plenty of maggots in to draw them in, and then cutting back now to two or three, four maggots each time we go through, and just starting to pick the chub off. So in the last probably. I'd say hour, we've had four children about an hour. They're coming steady, but the last three are probably coming in the last 20 minutes. So they are on the bait now. So yeah, let's get this guy with the rest of them and see if we can get a few more. I said, only out for the morning. So we'll see how many we get. Right, just took the fish right down on the swim. And as you can see there, the rods bent fully into the fish. Just got a hold and hope it kicks up. It is swimming free at the moment, just keep the rod low because it's underneath the branches then. But yeah, you can see it's just kicking, it's waiting so they'll get an opportunity look at like it's going again. So they get an opportunity. For it to give a bit of line like there. It's going again. And like just try and Give it a bit of teddy, get it upstream. I think it's coming now. There we go. So, what you got to do is just, it'll hold in the flow first time, solid. And then, when you feel it kick a bit lighter, just take advantage and get a bit of line on it. And now I think it's coming up underneath our feet again. And there it is, there. And so. Sometimes you just need a bit of luck. We could have quite easily just kicked into them far bank snags this one. But it held in the flow. And it does look like another nice one. Let me see. Once it's under my feet here, we know there's no snags. So we just lo loosen the drag off. Let it play itself out here underneath the rod tip. As soon as you see them white lips come up, you know it's nearly ready. Is a nice job. So when you're on a light hook length, you've just got to take your time and play the fish. When you see them white lips come up like that, you know it's nearly done. 
you just see that tiny size 8 hook, 18 hook, and there we go, she's out. Right, and there's that chub that you just saw, um, the second one above three pounds in the morning, and a lovely example of the species, grassy flanks and broad shoulders, it's a lovely example of a chub, as I say it was right down the swim, so we have to hold solid and wait for it to kick, and then you know gain ground on it, and then once it's under your feet, just play it out, but yeah, a cracking morning's fishing. And let's have a look at that final net um, because we've got to get off now. So, yeah, a few chub this morning, one for our bars, and then we'll have a look at the fish in the final net now. Right, there's a the final net of fish. Um, some nice chub in there, two over three pound, three and a half pound. And yeah, an enjoyable morning's fishing. Let's get these fish back. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.